Hey, this is Mary. Just wanted to give you a quick overview on how to download LabScribe from Blackboard. So, I'm going to go to Blackboard. Under here, what you can see is that we have a bunch of different things. Here's your course of interest, which is 291. And then once you do that, um, what you're going to want to do is choose groups here. Um, your configuration might look a little different since I'm the the lead uh, of the uh, group here, but what you'll see is you, uh, LabScribe group will be something that's an option for you to go into, and then from there you can actually go choose file exchange, and then after that what you can do is download these. So for PCs, um, typically I right click and then save and then open up that file on uh, from my desktop in the, on the PC. For a Mac, um, it seems to work pretty well for just uh, actually clicking on it and downloading it. And then this uh, takes it into a zip file, and that's fine. And then what you can do is you can expand that zip file and open it up, and then that'll open it into a new um, program. And then for Max, it's pretty much you just open it up here, click on this, and then it's going to say you downloaded it from the web. Yes, that's fine. And. Then we can just kind of click on it. And then it's asking, oh, okay, well, you had no hardware detected when I tried to open it. Don't stress out. It just means that I haven't hooked up an iWorks box or anything like that. So that's no problem. Um, and all I want to do is analysis. So I hit OK. And now I'm ready to go. If I wanted to open up a file in LabScribe, what I could do is basically choose to open up here. And you probably have done this in class already, but maybe not. And then I have these things that I've downloaded from the web for, uh, before. And then I can just click on and open that up. And it would uh, give me the file that I want. And then I can manipulate them by looking at the double, uh, the, uh, and using the display double time or to uh, half the display time. And then there's in between two cursors to kind of move around here and then analyze it using the cursors in V2 and V1. So I'll go through a lot of that in your videos that talk about, for example, figure one and two in the Frog Lab um, and try to get you oriented there. So um, with that, then you should be able to download this and be ready to go.